Welcome to Campfires to Cocktails, a truly first of its kind event for Girl Scouts of Tropical Florida. So just being with us tonight, you are part of South Florida history. And that's thanks to a host committee who so clever, so creative, six months ago, began to think about how do you re-envision a way to do a virtual fundraiser amid a pandemic. And here we are, really speaking to the innovation that comes out of Girl Scouts. I'm Christina Boomer Vasquez. I am your MC for the evening, and I'm also a proud Girl Scouts mom in Troop 367. Now, if you bought a ticket, a sponsorship, or you're at a guest at a virtual table, then you already received this, the Girl Scout Survival Kit. And I don't know about you, but when this arrived to my house, I was just in awe. It's absolutely beautiful. And if you open it up inside, you will see a program which is gonna guide you through some of the experiences you're gonna to have tonight. It includes a mixology class, a little sneak peek here, with Chef Adrian, and you're gonna see a badge making activity with Troop 918, as well as hear inspirational messages from some of our Girl Scouts. That's why if you don't have a kit, don't worry. You can still follow along and enjoy the fun. Plus, Throughout the evening, there'll be opportunities to donate and bid on some incredible items in the online auction. Everything from vacation packages to just for girl experiences. And of course, all money raised tonight goes directly to Girl Scouts of Tropical Florida and the nearly 3,500 girls they serve in every zip code in Miami-Dade County and the Keys. As the evening progresses, you can communicate with each other through the chat function, but your mic will be muted. But guess what? At the end of the event, you'll be able to live chat with members of your virtual table and others. Before we jump in on all the fun activities tonight, we wanna to take a second to thank our individual and corporate sponsors, and of course you, for making this all possible and for supporting our girls during this challenging time. And as we all celebrate the Girl Scouts together, I want to introduce a Dynamo CEO of Girl Scouts of Tropical Florida, Chelsea Wilkerson. Thank you, Christina, for the warm introduction and for being our MC tonight. I am Chelsea Wilkerson, CEO of Girl Scouts of Tropical Florida. I always like to begin events with an attitude of gratitude, and tonight is no exception. I'd like to start by thanking all of the sponsors who made this evening possible. In addition to our sponsors, we have an incredible group of women who came together to serve on our event committee. I thank each of you for all of your service over the past six months in making this evening a reality. Girl Scouts of Tropical Florida has a dedicated board of directors, and I want to thank each of our board members for participating tonight and for all you do for Girl Scouts. Also, of course, I'd like to thank Chef Adrian for bringing her expertise in mixology um, for our upcoming beverage that we'll get to try a little bit later. And of course, to all of the girls and the adults that we will be featuring throughout the night. Thank you all for your participation. Finally, I want to thank each of you for joining us this evening, sharing your night with us, demonstrating your support for girls in Miami and the Keys. Your investment of time, talent, and treasure is a gift for now and into the future. Thank you. We welcome you all and hope you will enjoy our program, including the Samoa-inspired drink we will be making and our girls leading us through a STEM badge activity. Now, before we continue, we have a surprise guest. As you all know, there was an election earlier this month, and in Miami, we made history with our first female mayor of Miami-Dade County. So I'd like to introduce and welcome Mayor-Elect Daniela Levine Cava. Thank you so much, Chelsea, for that lovely introduction. Uh, and welcome everyone to Campfires to Cocktails, which is Girl Scouts of Tropical Florida's first ever virtual fundraiser. I'm excited to be with you here tonight and to be a sponsor of this great event. So long, long time ago, I was a Girl Scout too. And I remember so much fun with the Girl Scouts. It was just a great social occasion, but we also learned things about our community and we learned also how to behave as a group, which was really a little difficult for me as a young child, but Girl Scouts really helped me to become the team leader that I am today. <laughs> so, Girl Scouts has a proven track record of leadership development for me and for thousands and thousands of other girls, and I couldn't be prouder to support an organization that serves girls from every zip code in Miami-Dade, which is building the next generation of female leaders in South Florida. Thank you. 
Wow. Well, it goes without saying that our mayor-elect is a true G-I-R-L, go-getter, innovator, risk-taker, and leader. Thank you, Mayor-elect Kava, for joining us. Well, we all know 2020 has been quite a year, a year unlike any other. We also know that girls need Girl Scouting now more than ever. Through its ups and downs, 2020 has taught us all how to use our creativity to accomplish things in new ways, how to adapt, and that no one steps up to a challenge of helping their community in a time of need quite like a Girl Scout. Even while social distancing and staying home to stop the spread of COVID-19, our girls were giving back to the community, making masks, donating cookies to first responders, and helping those who needed it most. They also tapped into their inner innovator to develop new ways to continue troop meetings while apart, and they continued learning life, leadership, entrepreneurial, outdoor, and STEM skills by earning badges right from home. Girl Scouts come together, even while we are apart, to make a difference. Girl Scouts of Tropical Florida serves Miami-Dade and Monroe counties. With approximately 3,500 girl members and 2,000 adult members, we are one of the largest and longest serving youth organizations in our community. Our girls come from every residential zip code in our jurisdiction, representing all the rich diversity of South Florida. Over 60% of our girls come from low to moderate income households, many of whom take advantage of the Girl Scout cookie program to support their daughter's Girl Scout experience. You know, I love history and I, am, and I never miss an opportunity to share the story of Alligator Troop 1. This troop came together for the first time, meeting in Coconut Grove in 1923. This was our first Girl Scout troop in Miami. This was before the city of Coral Gables even existed or the University of Miami. You see, we are a part of the very fabric of this community and the Girl Scout leadership experience has a proven track record, unmatched in leadership development for girls and women over generations. As we look to the future, we know that the next generation of female leaders in technology, medicine, business, law, environmental science, elected office, advocacy, STEM, and more will come from within our ranks of Girl Scouts. Our girls are already earning their high awards, bronze, silver, and gold awards, the highest awards Girl Scouts can earn. And along the way, they are learning to make sustainable, long-lasting change in our community and the world, putting into practice our mission of building girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. While we don't know what 2021 will look like, I can promise you that no matter what, Girl Scouts will be here to offer girls a safe way to stay connected, to gain important skills to carry, they will carry with them the rest of their lives, and to be the change makers needed today. But let's not take my word for it. How about we hear it directly from the girls? Hi, it's me, Soleil, me, Charlize, the Silver McDowell, and I'm a brownie in Troop 1832. Hola, fellow Girl Scouts. Mi nombre es Sofia Jimenez y yo soy de Tropa 147 in Miami, Florida. My name is John Chad Gray and I am in Troop 347. Hi, I'm Valentina Nicolini with Troop 763, Tropical South Florida. I'm a Girl Scout because it's a fun tradition and I want to learn how to do fun things by myself. I'm a Girl Scout because of the amazing opportunities given and the skills I develop in every aspect of my life. I am a Girl Scout because I love doing fun activities like having meetings with my friends, selling Girl Scout cookies, and going camping. I'm a Girl Scout because I want to make the world a better place. My favorite thing about Girl Scouts is the experience and how much you can learn, how much you can do. I joined Girl Scouts with my friends in second grade because it sounded fun and nine years later it still is. From all the skills developed in Girl Scouts, leadership can be one of the top. Due to the amazing amount of opportunities, I have gained leadership over the years. Being in a wonderful troop to completing high test awards made me the leader I am today. Girl Scouts has taught me to be honest and fair, caring, courageous, and respectful.
for? A big part of my development was the all-girl inclusive environment that Girl Scout offers. This girl-led and girl-focused leadership program has given me opportunities to build confidence, inspire others, keep learning, and the courage to try new things. I was younger and I was doing Girl Scouts. I was actually very nervous and I didn't really like to talk to people. But when I go, got home, like I was a talking, ticking time bomb. But now I can talk to people and I like to get to know what people like to do. I was born to be ready, but Girl Scouts has taught me the value I need to be a better leader in all aspects of life. I am a leader because I am courageous and strong, a sister to every Girl Scout, and I raise my hand in school. My troop helps the community by giving books, picking up traps, and being kind. Because of my gold, silver, and bronze, I have been able to create gardens for food security. I have been able to help Haiti with basic supplies. And I have been able to create apps, develop apps, to help young scholars and more. People in my community have learned to take care of each other and respect others. I, there's no word I can describe with Girl Scouts because you learn so much and there's so much you can do and so much you can learn and find out. It actually makes you very independent. Los invito a la comunidad de Girl Scouts. Bye. Aren't our Girl Scouts amazing? I can tell you from my experience with my troop, it has been a remarkable thing to watch them go from daisies to brownies and from little girls full of wonder and curiosity holding on to that, but through Girl Scouts learning how to channel that into helping others and how to be community leaders. It's just incredible. But now we're going to get to the section of the evening that perhaps many of you were looking forward to, especially after opening your Girl Scouts survival kit and seeing how wonderful this assortment was. The little mixer, right? And the ingredients. So go ahead and pull those items out. And as you're doing that, get ready for the award-winning Chef Adrienne Calvo. She is an absolute powerhouse, opening her first namesake restaurant when she was just 22 years old absolutely remarkable firmly establishing herself as a celebrity chef an author a television personality philanthropist and restaurateur in 2019 she opened her second restaurant cracked eatery by chef adrian and in 2020 in the middle of this pandemic that we've been living through she took over the helm of the historic redfish restaurant at matheson hammock park and expanded her original concept into a larger location she has received numerous awards from zagat and thrillist 40 Under 40 by the South Florida Business Journal and 2019 Reader's Choice Best Chef Awards for multiple years and named Best Restaurant in Miami by Miami New Times. She is a true girl, G-I-R-L, right? She's a go-getter, an innovator, a risk taker, and a leader. What an inspiration. So let's go ahead and send it over to Chef Adrian, who's gonna be working to get our maximum flavor mixology on. Thank you, Chef Adrian, for joining us and Campfires to Cocktails. Thank you, Christina. Before we get into the recipe, let's dive into a one-on-one -on -one with Chef Adrian. Hi, Chef Adrian. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm great. So I'm 17 and I heard you started your first restaurant when you were only five years older than me. What gave you the courage to do this? Um, courage or uh, I, I was just willing to take the risk at that time. I had sold a bunch of cookbooks and um, the revenue from the cookbooks. I just, I thought, what a better thing than to try to make my dream come true. Uh, there wasn't a better time than that. Um, being young, I think also opened up doors in itself. Um, and so I was just laser focused and I actually w was really thinking, I never had that money to begin with. Um, so why not risk it all? But it worked. Wow, that's so cool. You know, as a, as a successful chef and entrepreneur in a field dominated by men, is there anything that you want to share so that girls interested in pursuing careers where women are underrepresented could like go for it? Um, I would say two things. Number one is don't go into it thinking, oh, I'm a woman, he's a man, and things have to be different. They are different. 
and you will have to work twice as hard because that's just the way the world is. You will be outnumbered by men. Um, but when you, when your talent and your passion is what's at the forefront, they don't look at you as like, Oh, there's the girl or there's the woman. Um, it's all, like in my career, it stopped being she and it started being chef. Um, you know, it's not her, it's chef, the chef, you know? So I think always keeping in mind, um, what your goal is and being assertive about it and not paying attention to those type of small details. You will earn the respect from men and women. Yeah. It's about having confidence in yourself, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure you also had like a lot of setbacks in your career in moments you failed. What did you do to learn and to improve? My gosh, reflection is one of the biggest things in this. Um, and yes, there's a failures come in all sizes. You know, sometimes it's just on a, on a decision that you made at the restaurant and something that didn't work out or didn't pan out as you thought. Um, and sometimes they're even bigger mistakes. So it's always looking at it from a perspective of, okay, so moving forward, um, how can I change this? And not really beating myself up about, okay, it's a failure. No, it's actually a, a moment to learn and grow. Yeah. The Girl Scout Cookie Program is the largest girl-led business in the world and has taught me a lot about like money management, marketing, and business ethics. Is there any advice you would give to girls interested in starting their own business? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I... Just go for it. Go for it. Don't let anybody stop you. Um, when you do fail once or twice, start over, brush those knees off and keep going. Um, and then I don't know if you've ever seen the movie A League of Their Own, but no, watch it. I always, I recommend every girl and guy to watch A League of Their Own. And remember, there's no crying in baseball. That's it. <laughs> Well, yeah, I also heard that your mother was a huge influence on you in your career. Can you tell us about your mom and any other strong woman that influenced you to become the leader you are today? Well, yeah, I mean, my mom has raised um, a strong woman who was like, you know, you don't get talked back to, you don't, um, you respect one another. You definitely, you're a hard worker. Um, you don't get uh, the easy way out because you're a woman, you know, and just to always lead with your heart. My mom's a very passionate woman who just doesn't take nothing. Like, so, you know, she taught, she's really a big part of who I am. Do you think being surrounded by strong women made you more confident to pursue a career like cooking? Absolutely. Yes. Um, I, I was raised by, by very strong women who, yeah, I mean, they would never doubt or steer me in another direction. So they were my cheerleaders. So a lot of people think that all chefs do is just cook, you know, chop things up, but they don't realize that there's a lot of in innovation in making a dish and what you do in the kitchen. So can you tell me more about a time that you took a risk or innovated something? Well, I will say that when you're in the restaurant industry, um, it's not just cooking for sure. Um, and it's not also just innovating a dish or creating something. You do a lot of math. Um, you are doing a lot of analytical work to make the business work. And then you do a lot of marketing on top of that. You have to think not just as a chef, you have to think as a consumer, then you have to think as an accountant because uh, it has to work. Um, so there, it's multifaceted. Yeah, everything is more than what it seems. Yeah, absolutely. And my final question for you is, I heard that you have many Girl Scout and cook cookie inspired desserts coming to one yeah. of your reviews. Can you give a sneak peek or tell us a little more about it? Yes, yeah, so we have, the, so the Samoa cookie is actually my favorite. So we make, we create, it's already there actually, uh, Samoa cookie Sunday, and everybody loves soft serve ice cream. It's just a favorite. Nobody can resist soft serve. So we crushed the Samoa cookies and drizzled it with extra caramel, extra chocolate. Um, mm. So it's just a whole lot of deliciousness. <laughs>
Campfires to Cocktails. I am so thrilled to be here. And while I wasn't a Girl Scout, I believe in the importance of girls participating in a variety of leadership experiences. I know I've been blessed to be raised by strong women, taught by strong women, and work with strong women. So tonight's signature drink is the Samoa Old Fashioned. I love Old Fashions, and my favorite Girl Scout cookie is the Samoa. So I thought, what a wonderful combination. I mean, the flavors just lend themselves so well. We're gonna start off with an old fashioned glass that I'm going to dip in the chocolate syrup, half of it. Now the thing here with mixology, by the way, is that you don't have to like follow it exactly to the T. Use your own creativity, okay? So I have a little bit of the, of the coconut flakes, okay? On the plate, I'm reserving some for the actual drink. This is just for the lip of the glass, okay? So we have chocolate and coconut right onto the glass, okay? I'm gonna set that aside. Now I have ice in our, sh uh, in our shaker. So cute, because it says campfires to cocktails. <laughs> okay, so I have some ice in here, and now I'm gonna add the ingredients from the kit. Let me see, I have here our Buffalo Trace bourbon. Let me see, it's slippery from the ice. Okay, so I'm gonna add that bottle right into the shaker. Woo! Gonna add a little bit of simple syrup, okay. That's going to add the sweetness. The actual coconut flakes that are in the packet. I'm gonna empty that out. So as we shake this, the flavor of the coconut's gonna come out. The rest of the chocolate syrup goes right into here. All right, and then bitters. You always gotta have bitters in an old fashioned. It brings out all the other flavors. Okay, perfect. So. Now, we give this a good shake. Let all the flavors come together, get nice and cold. Mm. Okay, now I'm gonna put some ice in the glass. Here we go. Okay, so now we pour our cocktail right into our nice rocks glass. And I'd like to give it a little extra garnish put the cookie right into the glass, invite guests or invite yourself to a bite of the Samoa cookie. Mmm. And a sip of your old fashioned. Enjoy. All right, guys, let's raise our virtual glasses and cheers to the Girl Scouts and campfires to cocktails. Wow, have you taken a sip yet? It is absolutely amazing, but you know what? kind of already had me at Samosa's, my absolute favorite box of cookies, the one I always order one or two extra in my order every cookie season to ensure I have some at home. And now, thanks to Chef Adrian, I have a drink to go with it. And now that we're all enjoying some cookies and cocktails, let's get ready to become citizen scientists and experience what our 21st century Girl Scouts are doing today. I'm delighted to introduce you to two Girl Scout seniors, Isabella Cruz and Daniela Milton, who are gonna walk us through an interactive outdoor STEM exercise. And all you need is your cell phone and the program. Hopefully before this evening, you were able to download the Skyview Light app on your phone. But if you didn't get a chance to, please take a few minutes to do so now. Again, you can find the instructions on how to do this in your program booklet. And if you already did and find yourself with some time, go ahead and check out the auction, bid on some items, and donate to the Girl Scouts. Danny and Issa, take it away. Hi everyone, my name is Isabella, and I'm a senior Girl Scout in Troop 918. Hi everyone, my name is Daniela and I am a senior Girl Scout in Troop 918. Citizen science is a rewardingly inclusive way to learn about important issues like the disappearing starry night sky, its causes and solutions. Globe at Night is an international campaign to raise awareness of the impact of light pollution by having citizen scientists measure the night sky brightness and submit their observations from their own computer or mobile device. The data is used to monitor the levels of light pollution around the world, as well as learn about the impact of light pollution on energy consumption, plants, wildlife, and human health. Globe at Night campaigns are held each month, span 10 days, and take place when the moon is not up. Let's get started.
exited the Skyview app and found one of the two constellations, you're going to go to globeatnight.org slash web app. Then you're going to make sure you're on the nighttime version. This is what your phone should look like. Step one, insert the observation date and the observation time. Step two, the app should automatically locate where you are, but if it doesn't, simply press on this tab, enter your location and press map it. Also, include location comments such as if you live in a rural area, suburban area, or city area. Step three, how dark was the sky that night? Here you're gonna put in the magnitude of the sky, and there are options below where you can tap what the magnitude is, from lowest to highest. Step four, what were the sky conditions that night? Here are boxes where you press the amount of clouds that you saw that night. Additionally, the sky condition comments where you put if there was haze or if there was clouds. And step five, this is optional. If you used a sky quality meter, you can input the data here. But if not, simply skip it. And step six, press submit data. Now you are a citizen scientist. This experience has made me more knowledgeable about the night sky and um, as many constellations are out there. And I can name a few now as compared to as before, um, as well as I didn't know before how bad light pollution is. Light pollution doesn't only affect humans, but also animals. Baby sea turtles often find themselves walking towards city lights, which they mistake as the glare of the sun on the ocean. I hope you enjoyed this experience, and I hope you've learned something knowledgeable. Thank you. So when you support the Girl Scouts this evening, it's not just the girl or just the troop. You're really helping the people of Miami-Dade County by supporting the service projects that these girls invest themselves into as well as ensuring that this organization that gives so much to these young ladies who are gonna be powerhouse women to help even more people through their passions and what they do and the careers that they choose, the impact of their lives are substantial. And you are supporting all of that with a bid tonight. Now I wanna share with you some videos from other parents, program partners and community leaders about the impact of Girl Scouts. Hi, Penny Schaefer, Florida Blue Market President and proud Girl Scout. And according to this little piece of memorabilia, uh, my membership card since the 60s. So happy to be a Girl Scout then, happy to still be associated with scouting. Now, what would our community be without our Girl Scouts? Girl Scouts instills a sense of leadership it instills a sense of entrepreneurial spirit. It ensures a sense of service and advocacy and the importance of those things for our community. What I love most about the Girl Scouts is that it creates a network of unbelievably strong women who together care about transforming our community, learning and growing together, 
and all of the attributes of what it takes to be a 21st century learner. Everything that we're doing in Girl Scouts is laying the foundation for girls in this community to become future leaders in this community. And in my opinion, there's little else more important than that. Girl Scouts empowers girls with entrepreneurial skills, outdoor skills, life skills, and STEM so they can become strong leaders and advocates for their community. Girl Scouts are always prepared and know the needs in their community. They have effectively networked, communicated their goals, and are building a better future in STEM and business fields. Through mentorship, we give back to Scouts. And inspire girls to give back to their own communities. We want everyone to know Girl Scouts are innovators, creators, and the leaders of tomorrow. I found my little treasure trove of uh, memorabilia from scouting, and it reminded me of all the important lessons that I've learned over the years. Whether it was about the badges of the 60s in cooking and camping and sewing, or the badges of today on leadership, what it did was turn out well-rounded women capable of making decisions, capable of doing things, and really dedicated to making this world a better place. As you all know, we are in unprecedented times, and the Girl Scouts of Tropical Florida have risen up to meet that challenge. As you've heard, offering virtual programming to keep our girls connected and also to continue in their growth into social conscious leaders. I hope everyone can please take a moment now to support Girl Scouts of Tropical Florida and ensure they can continue to serve girls of all ages and backgrounds, just like they have done for nearly 100 years. And I have some exciting news to share. Just before this event, we learned the board of directors have offered a $20,000 challenge match. That means every dollar that you donate will be doubled up to $20,000, doubling your impact. It's important that you give an amount that's meaningful to you. It could be anywhere from $100 to $10,000. And I'm gonna be right there with you, putting in my donation, but I wanna give you a sense of what that money goes to. For $100, that provides for one Girl Scout to have uniforms, supplies, and membership for a year. $250, annual membership for six Girl Scouts. $500, one year, and that's for supplies for a girl in our community troops program. For $1,000, hands-on career exploration programs for 10 girls. And for $5,000, an entire troop for one year that supports Girl Scouts programming. In the chat box now, you'll see a link to donate, or perhaps you have received a text message on your phone. Let's go ahead and take a moment now and donate together to support a girl's leadership journey for years to come. I'm a Girl Scout father. My daughter has matured into a wonderful young woman and much of that has been as a result of the work that she did and the volunteering she's done and just growing up as a Girl Scout. I'm very proud of her, I'm very proud of the Girl Scouts. Over the last two years, Girl Scouts has been a really big part of our family and our daughter's lives because it's helped them to grow and mature as well as develop self-confidence and a lot more independent skills as they participated throughout the years of Girl Scouting. My Girl Scout troop, my daughter is part of. She's been a part of since kindergarten and now her and her entire group of uh, 15 girls are now entering middle school and they just completed their bronze awards. And it was so impressive to watch them work through what the assets of their communities were and what the um, difficulties in a community that they live in were, and then figure out that project that they could work through and develop through and see through to the end. Rania has been involved in Girl Scouts for the last several years here in Miami, and I have nothing but warm and positive experiences in witnessing her transformation and her growth as a young leader. I've seen it for myself. Girls whose parents said uh, they suffered from anxiety disorder are walking up to cookie customers to raise money for the troop, taking the lead in troop meetings. They're speaking in front of the Board of County Commissioners. Uh, that is literally what keeps me doing this work week after week. We see Girl Scouts as a great way of developing the future leaders of our community. We know that the, the skills that are taught and learned throughout the years of scouting help develop some of our most amazing leaders in the future. As a former Girl Scout myself, I know the critical role Girl Scouts play in our community. Being a Girl Scout fostered my love for the outdoors and the environment, which has led me on a lifelong career path. 
we've taken field trips all over Miami-Dade to meet um, lifetime Girl Scouts that are chefs, that are judges that sit on benches, that are uh, business owners, and they have given us such amazing insight into what the impact of Girl Scouts has been in their lives. Everything I do in my troop is focused on three things, courage, confidence, and character. So getting girls out of their everyday school and home environments really shows them how to discover those three things about themselves. And for me, that is priceless. I can't wait to see what my daughter Rania and what all young women who have an opportunity to be a part of Girl Scouts are able to accomplish in our communities. I have seen such a heart of, of service and of advocacy and of leadership blossom um, within the Girl Scouts that I have worked with. And I truly believe that Girl Scouts is a necessity for our young girls of our community. And we're grateful to Girl Scouts. Thank you, Girl Scouts of Tropical Florida, for all you do. On behalf of the Children's Trust of Miami-Dade, we wholeheartedly believe in the mission and the quality of program that Girl Scouts offers for young women of our local community of Miami-Dade. Congratulations, Scouting. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much for spending your evening with us and for your donation in support of Girl Scouts of Tropical Florida. And by doing so, ensuring that they have access to education and curriculum, a mission and vision that ensures that they can be the future change makers and leaders our community needs, but also being an advocate for the residents that they serve through their service projects. Thank you to Isabella Cruz and Daniela Milton for teaching us how to be a citizen scientist. The Campfires to Cocktails host committee are incredible sponsors and the team at Girl Scouts for helping to make this virtual event possible. If you haven't done so already, check out the online auction. It closes at 9 p.m. And stay tuned on additional ways to be part of the Girl Scouts of Tropical Florida family, which in the works, a new troop just for adults. Sign me up. It's perfect. I've always wanted to be a Girl Scout, and now they're going to be bringing it to us. Let's talk about Troop 305. <laughs> I can't wait. Again, thank you for spending your evening with us, and have a wonderful night.